Happy video day guys. So this is gonna be a quick little video. Um, I'm gonna get ready with you guys. I'm gonna put on my makeup and I already started putting it on. Didn't realize that I wasn't filming, so <laughs> foundation is on. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna kinda like talk with you guys. We're gonna talk about a few of the things that are happening right now in the beauty community. And I wanted to kinda take a positive spin on it. I did see um, Tara Lynn's last video that she kinda did a positive spin on the whole thing that's going on and kinda like give you guys like encouragement to watch other channels and stuff. So we're gonna kinda do a similar thing here. Here. I want to talk to you guys quickly about my thoughts on what's happening because I know a lot of you guys are asking me on Instagram So part of this video as well is I'm gonna highlight for you guys a few smaller channels that I love to watch These are gonna be smaller channels also some mid-sized channels It's just channels that focus on positivity a lot of the content is really positive It has to do with the makeup, but they also add other content in there, but nothing is about the drama and it's just more uplifting stuff for you guys to watch instead of having to deal with more drama than the drama that we already have to deal with on our daily basis. So I want to kind of share with you guys a few channels that I really, really enjoy watching and we're going to talk about those channels. I'll give you guys a few little key things why I like each channel and yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video. It's going to be a more positive video and that's what we're going to do. So. First things first, I did use my Tasha Silk Canvas to prime my face, and I'm using my Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Foundation on my face. I wear the color Bisque, and I was already kind of blending it out when I realized that I didn't put my camera on. <laughs> so anyways, um, so the first thing I want to talk to you quickly about, I'm not going to waste too much time on this because I know you guys have seen this all over the place. I mean, even E! News is actually talking about this, which is pretty crazy. The only thing that I'm going to say about this whole Tati Westbrook and James Charles thing is I love Ch Tati's channel. I've watched Tati's channel for a very, very, very long time. And the reason that I love Tati's channel is mostly because it's very positive. I like her tone. I like what she talks about. I like the makeup. I like that she focuses on that. She's not really like drama filled. She's not crazy like every moment is not like a eh, eh, you know like the whole time like it's a really fun channel to watch to me it's nice and you know this whole drama thing that's happening seems like somebody who's really trying to get through to somebody and just decided that there was no other way and maybe this would be an eye-opener and besides that I think there's a lot more going on there than they tell us and I'm sure that it's probably stuff that she doesn't want to say so I believe that she um, was doing this to help. The, but you know what I take from this whole thing though, guys? Let me find what I'm gonna use. Um, what I take from this whole thing that I really honestly can't stand though is when I was watching it, um, after this whole thing happened and everything, I noticed that Tati's numbers, like she has like skyrocketed in subscribers. And I'm gonna tell you guys one of the things that aggravates me about that. She's one of the bigger YouTubers that is so consistent that she's always posting content. She never missed uploads. She used to post like five times a week. She was so dedicated to everything. I think recently she started posting a little less just because she was taking like a little hiatus and stuff. But she's been one that's always been posting consistently. She was working so hard and she had like five million subscribers, which is a great number, obviously. But over like three days, she's jumped to like eight million because she came out with a video basically drama filled, you know, I mean, it wasn't meant to be drama filled, but you know how everything turns that it was basically, um, you know, a scandal. And because, because she came out with this like scandalous kind of video, all of a sudden she has grown in her subscribers by so much. And I will tell you guys that it's a little bit disappointing to me to think like somebody who tried so hard and did so much and really grew her channel so much, saw the biggest drastic jump in her numbers because she came out with a video that she was honestly just trying to help somebody and just like had enough and said, I just need to do this. And that is what made her like get so many subscribers. Cause I don't think that anybody literally grows that many millions over three days, you know? So, I mean, in a way, it's a little bit disappointing to me to think, like, I can imagine being her and being like, God, you know, so many years of doing this, and I come out with a video like this one, which obviously, to her, was probably something really hard to film, and also very disappointing and sad, and it was what propelled her. <laughs> I feel like that in itself is kind of sad, guys, I mean, because if you really think about it, it kind of goes to show you 
how in our society there's so much relied on drama and things that are happening that are negative and and it's so like feeded with it's so fed with that and even like you know like the bigger channels that got into contact with this like et and e news and all these people who grabbed this story and really like kind of like made it viral and talked about it so much was basically because this is like drama i don't know if you guys feel the same way as i do but i kind of feel like wow you know like if people put more attention to into just people who are doing hard work like I feel like it's sad that you know people can do super hard work all the time and really want to get recognized for that work and then a scandal happens and then that's how they get recognized it's kind of it's a little bit disappointing you know I don't know I can imagine that Tati even though she, I'm sure she's excited that she has so many new subscribers I'm sure in her mind she probably feels like gosh you know this is what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Do you think that this is the way that things are nowadays and, you know, scandals are what makes you popular? Like, what do you guys think about that? Because I just, I've seen it happen so many times, to be honest, guys. Like, even, even with Kim Kardashian, if you re really think about it, the reason that Kim Kardashian really became famous, I mean, she had famous friends and stuff, but she really skyrocketed when her sex tape release it was like oh, scandal you know what I mean and it really kind of propelled her into fame and people were interested in her because of that and it kind of just makes you think like god is that really is that really what it what this is all about so I guess the question I have is is that what it's all about or does hard work pay off in the long run because I do know that I've seen people with hard work pay off. Sometimes it's just crazy to me to think that some, for some people a scandal is what makes them become something when there's people like Tati that I feel like have worked so hard and yeah, she had a scandal happen and I don't think that was her intention to grow so many, I don't think that she even in her widest dreams probably thought that that was gonna happen. She probably thought that she was gonna lose subscribers for it and instead she gained so many. I think that that was probably pretty crazy for her. To be honest guys, it's a little bit discouraging because for me personally, I am not a scandalous person at all. Like I am not like one of those type of people at all. I've never have been. Um, I hardly ever even say bad words. Like I just, that's just how I am. I just never have. I'm not like a scandalous person. You know what I mean? I'm not like one of those personalities that are like, yeah, all in your face. I'm not somebody that has like super scandals going on and when you see things like that, you kind of get a little bit discouraged and think like, is that really what it takes, you know? And it's kind of scary because I know, I know I'm not that. Like, I just, I don't have that. I'm not scandalous at all. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is it's a little bit disappointing to see that that is what really drew a lot of attention towards one person. But at the same time, it makes sense because that's what everybody was talking about. Do you know what I mean? So, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Honestly guys, there's a lot of really hardworking YouTubers that have such good channels and I honestly enjoy their content so much and a lot of them are not the big YouTubers, to be honest. Like, a lot of them are not and sometimes I really don't even like watching the bigger YouTuber channels anymore because some of them just don't seem I don't know they just they're a little bit too staged and a little bit too trying to be out there and it's just too annoying to watch to be honest so I don't even watch that many bigger youtubers anymore so for me I like the smaller channels a lot more I feel like they're more relatable I also feel like what Tati said is that you know money can change you a lot and I think that that is really true especially for somebody who has never had money or somebody who is young and impressionable and receives so much attention out of nowhere and then they have all this money to get whatever they want like I can see how that can change somebody like it's just I could see it you know so I understand what Tati was saying when she said like you know he's a different person so I'm just thinking that like a lot of the smaller youtubers they haven't seen like that type of craziness and like that money in their face you know and I mean there's a lot of larger youtubers too that have stayed pretty normal um, that I feel like at least when it comes to their content and what they're like showing 
I feel like they've stayed pretty true to what they were since the beginning and I think that's great and I do have a few channels that I just really think are really really nice and I like watching them like I, I'm sure I'm gonna skip a channel so <laughs> I'm gonna put everybody's channel in my bio that I really really like this is something that Tara Lynn did and I thought it was a great idea and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put all the channels that I love to watch in my bio but I'm also gonna talk about a few of them and if I don't get to every single one I'm sorry and it's not that I'm picking and choosing it's just I'm just kind of filming this off a whim <laughs> and I didn't really write notes or anything of like who I was gonna talk about so I'm sure I'm gonna skip a channel or two but I will put them in the description box if I skip them um, but I'm gonna start what did I do to this eyebrow what is going on here but I'm gonna start with um, Tara Lynn <laughs> because she was the one that I saw this kind of video from and I was like that's a great idea I should do something similar Tara Lynn's channel is really really good if you guys have not seen her yet she has a great channel I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it and if you haven't go to my the link in my bio she has a really great channel she gets a lot of brand new products she does a lot of luxury products to be honest, but there's a bunch of other ones too. She really tests the products out. She gives you thorough reviews. She's relatable, she's fun to watch, and I just really like her and I enjoy watching her a lot. She doesn't have like, she's not somebody that's in your face. She's not crazy. She doesn't have any of those like kind of like ta tactics to her and I really enjoy watching her channel. So another channel I like guys a lot is Katie Marie and you guys saw me do a collab with her and like I said in the collab video I was so excited to do a collab with her because I really honestly genuinely love her channel. She talks a lot about beauty products but she also gives you really really thorough reviews. She's not about the drama. She just kind of you know she's more into what she's talking about and I really honestly love her channel she has really really good content and you guys don't watch her channel yet you should follow that link for sure because she really is really really good and I really like her channel a lot so another person is Samantha March and a lot of you guys probably watch her already she's the inspiration that I got for the virtual window shopping series she's actually the person who created the will I buy it which is basically virtual window shopping and um, she's actually really creative, even though she says that she's not creative. I don't think that sometimes she gives herself enough credit. She's very creative. Um, she has a very creative mind. And I know sometimes she says that she gets confused with like doing makeup and eye looks and stuff like that. But her mind really is very creative because she's an author. So you can kind of like see that come through a lot in the way she talks about beauty and the ideas that she has when she comes up with storylines to talk about. You can tell that she's a very creative person because she does come up with creative ideas and it's really there. So I really honestly really like watching her. I think that she has really good content and besides that she kind of like lets you into her world a lot and she talks about like personal issues and stuff. And she's just very relatable and I really like her channel and she's very positive too. Another channel that I really like to watch too is Ashley Clady. And now I like watching Ashley because I feel like her channel is just like one of those channels you watch and the girl like makes you smile because she laughs like every second of her video and it's so uplifting. Like she just has one of those personalities that like if you were talking to her I can't imagine that you wouldn't be like smiling the whole time because she's just like very positive. And it's like one of those channels that you like to watch because it just makes you feel like you're, it just makes you feel happy for a while, you know what I mean? Like she has a very uplifting personality. She talks about a lot of beauty products and a lot of new makeup releases and she does a lot of first impressions and I really, really honestly love her channel. Who else do I like to watch? I'm like literally doing this off the whim. Now this is a bigger channel, but guys, I don't know if this girl, I don't know why she doesn't get enough credit because her channel is so good. Um, that is Rachel Loves and I really, really, really love her. She's so freaking good. She's so talented when it comes to editing. She does such amazing editing to her videos and I found her a long time ago and I've watched her for such a long time. And I honestly, sometimes when I see people talk about like bigger YouTubers that they love, I don't hear them talk about her that often and I'm like, why? Why are you leaving this girl out? She's so freaking good. She's super talented. She does awesome reviews. Her editing skills are off the chain. Like you could tell that she's extremely talented in editing. And this sometimes editing could be really important when you're watching like a show or something. So watching YouTube to me is like watching TV and the editing is important. So I love watching her content. Another bigger YouTuber, so there's two other bigger YouTubers I like. Raw Beauty Christie is one that I really, really love to watch because I just love the way that she doesn't take herself seriously. You know what I mean? And that is something that is so important sometimes. 
when you're filming because people don't want to see like statues like I do this and because you know like she like literally was like like she, if she doesn't know how to do something she just like says what the hell I don't know how to do this you know and it's so fun to watch because it's so real okay so bigger I'm gonna talk about another bigger youtuber and that's that girl Shay if you guys haven't seen her she's really fun to watch too I love that this girl is really talented with makeup like I really like watching talented people when it comes to applying makeup. So like I feel like sometimes when somebody really knows how to apply it and they know how to work it, they can tell you what will work. Like they can't just say like, well this palette sucks just because like I don't know. They like really tell you, well this is what you can do to make this work and is it worth it? So her channel I believe is like that. I feel like I love watching her because she does like ice watch videos. I don't know how she does them. Every time I watch them, I'm like, my eyes would fall off because I do like a few swatches on my eyes and I'm like, oh, I can't. Okay, so this is another person that I really enjoy watching her channel. I've been watching her channel for a long time. That's Angelica Naviste. If you guys haven't seen her, she is a Swedish, Swedish? I think she's a Swedish YouTuber. And man, she is so talented with makeup. She's another one that does amazing makeup looks like they just look so beautiful when she does the makeup she loves color so to me that's always fun to watch I like to watch different people you know like I don't like to only watch people who like color I don't like to watch only people who like neutral looks I like to watch everybody and I love watching her colorful looks oh my god they're so pretty okay I know somebody else Jenna Fraze okay so Jenna Fraze I really like too now I'll tell you that she reminds me a lot of Ashley Clady. She has a very similar aesthetic and it's really fun to watch. She always gets like brand new releases and she's actually, she's super fun to watch. I really, really, really enjoy her channel as well. It's a really good channel. I'm gonna go ahead and do some eyeliner and stop talking. So. <sighs> there we go. So let me see if I can think of any other channels off the top of my head. I'm gonna list some more channels in the description box that I didn't get to talk about because I can keep on going and talking about so many different channels that I watch. So I'm gonna put on this color from Becca. This is taupe. Overall guys, all I gotta say is I just hope that we as a society try to do a little bit better with trying to promote things that are a little bit more positive and just give people real recognition for hard work. And I feel like the media has a lot to do with that and I feel like promotion of things that they feel like is click worthy has a lot to do with that and I just hope that this whole thing becomes something maybe a little bit on the positive side because I feel like Tati's trying to do that and she's trying to like let people know that because she wanted to come out and say something like this is not something that she wants for people to like dwell on the drama. She didn't want people to wish bad on other people because that's just something that will eventually come back to haunt them. And I feel like that's so true. Like even though everybody feels like it's entertaining to watch drama, that's why The Real Housewives and all of these different episodes are super in. A lot of people love E! News and they watch it for the news, for the juicy gossip. And I do know that that is the thing and I understand that. But you know, at a certain point too, we gotta start thinking as a society to give people recognition for hard work and just being good at what they do. Because I feel like even Tati herself, her channel prior to this was so good. And she had, she had a nice following, but it wasn't like she had what James Charles had, which was a lot more. And I feel like Tati really dedicated herself and really did so much that she should have had so many more followers from a long time ago. So I was hoping that this video would just be a little bit of a positive spin and show you guys some channels that I think are just really doing positive things and you know, like they're not in the drama, but they do really good videos. You guys should check them out because they really are super fun to watch and that's all I have for today's video. I'm done with my face. If you guys want to know any of the products that I used, I'm going to link them down below. And let me know if you liked the video. Just sitting here dogging you guys. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.